Hey there folks and welcome back to another one. Today I'm bringing you all another gun review and today's gun review is going to be on the Ruger PC Carbine 9mm rifle. And remember folks, if any of you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It would really support my channel and it would keep you all up to date on my future gun reviews. I have owned this firearm for about one year now and I am very happy to bring a review on this firearm. In today's video, I'm going to cover my overall opinion on the fire, and I'm also going to go over all the specifications of this particular firearm. The Ruger PC Carbine, also known as the Ruger PCC or the Ruger PC9. It is a semi-automatic centerfire rifle manufactured by Ruger in the USA. The Ruger PC Carbine is chambered in 9mm Luger, which is a great cartridge if you're looking to get some easy, fun, and affordable shooting in. The cartridge is readily available across North America. It's very affordable at about $400, 420 for a thousand rounds Canadian. But if you were looking for another cartridge that this gun is chambered in, it is also manufactured in 40 Smith & Wesson. If you were to head over to the Ruger website, there are 22 different models of this particular firearm that you're able to purchase. Though the one that I am holding is actually not on the Ruger website because this particular model is a Canadian compliant model which means basically it has to fit under Canadian regulation. Therefore, it has been altered to fit under those regulations and it is not on their firearms website for purchase in the USA. And for all my other Canadian fellows out there, if you are interested in purchasing And to all my fellow Canadians out there, if you are interested in purchasing one of these firearms in particular, uh, we do basically have some other models as well available to us. It is not just this particular model. They did make some other Canadian compliant models as well. So there's a handful of them to pick and choose from which one you would like. The Ruger PC Carbine is classified as a non-restricted centerfire rifle under Canadian law, which means anybody who possesses a standard firearms license or PAL or FAC in Canada is able to purchase one of these awesome rifles and basically a vast majority of firearm stores will possess these firearms in some maker model. The Ruger PC Carbine has a MSRP value of around 779 to 1009 USD. This one in particular cost me around $1200 Canadian, which obviously there is a conversion rate, fees and whatnot for shipping over the border. So that's why in Canada, they are a little more expensive. The rifle has an 18.6 inch long fluted and threaded barrel that has a twist ratio of one in 10 inches. The barrel is made of a cold hammer forged steel with precise rifling for the longevity of the barrel. This model comes with a free floating milled type three hard coat anodized aluminum handguard that is covered in M-lock attachments on all sides for your accessory needs. In my scenario, I just decided to use the M-Lock attachments to basically put on a foregrip here. I put on a little Daniel Defense vertical foregrip here, and it helps me get a nice solid hold when I'm looking to shoot the firearm. It's a nice solid grip. The handguard also comes with a forward mounted Picatinny rail if you're looking to forward mount any of your optics. Just a heads up to everybody who are looking to purchase these firearms. If you are looking to purchase one with the handguard, it will not come with iron sights, but if you were looking to purchase one without the handguard, it will come with iron sights on the gun. Therefore, in that scenario, you wouldn't have to purchase an optic if you are looking to keep it at a close range. This rifle has a very simple takedown system, which is awesome for traveling, keeping the gun nice and compact when storing it away. To do so, you will take out the magazine via the mag release right here on the side. You will come under the handguard and you will see a little lever up here. You will lift that button up, press it upward and rotate the barrel to the left. It will pop out and then your gun is taken down and you can separate these two pieces for storing and then to reassemble it, you once again simply drop the barrel back in and it'll lock in and then rotate it and it is back on. To do so, you will always have to have your action open. Otherwise, it will not twist the barrel off of the firearm. The action needs to remain open. The receiver is machined from aerospace grade 7075 T6 aluminum billet and like the handguard, is a type three hard coat anodized for a great durability of the firearm. The firearm's dead blow action has a tungsten dead blow weight at the rear. This is going to reduce a lot of that muzzle rise. It's gonna reduce a lot of that recoil, that felt recoil. 
and it is going to be extremely durable when cycling the fire. It is also going to shorten the travel time of the bolt. The bolt is machined from a heat treated chrome molly steel to ensure integrity and durability. The rifle has a reversible mag release and reversible charging handle to support ambidextrous use. The rifle has a glass filled polymer chassis system with an integrated rear 7075 T6 aluminum and it has a flared mag well for better mag reloading capabilities and has QD cups all over for mounting slings. The Ruger PC carbine ships with a Ruger SR9 magazine and it does come with the Ruger SR9 mag well built into the firearm but it is interchangeable. It does ship with a Glock mag well adapter as well which I have ultimately switched out to because Glock mags are a lot cheaper and easier to find than the Ruger SR9 magazines are. The magazine capacity for the Ruger PC Carbine is 10. Obviously in Canada, we have a limitation to our magazines here. Uh, so the Ruger, because it is a pistol caliber carbine is 10. And if you were to go to the US, I'm sure it'll vary by the state, but I'm sure a lot of states might have uh, a lot less rules than Canada does, that's for sure. The safety on the Ruger PC Carbine is located at the front of the trigger guard. For my firearm, I decided to put a Vortex Spark AR Red Dot on it. I find it's a very good fit shape for this firearm. It rises up nicely for me. It picks up nice. The dot is right where I want it to be. It runs on AAA batteries, so very, very good optic if you're looking to keep the price range down. If you're looking for an everlasting one, the Spark Solar will probably do the job a little bit better in terms of battery life, but overall, this is a great optic for a very good price. The chassis allows for the mounting of standard AR grips and the lower receiver has a six position Magpul buttstock on the proprietary receiver extension that accepts both commercial and mill spec aftermarket stocks. I have decided to keep the standard buttstock that comes with this particular model, but I did switch out to a Magpul MOE K2 Plus AR-15 grip. It's a nice rubberized coating on it. I find it gives me a good sturdy grip. I, again, really like it on this firearm. It fits well with the rest of my build. My foregrip and my rear grip, both are going to have some rubber coating to them, and they pair really well with this firearm. The rifle would otherwise come standard with a regular pistol grip that has an extended reach to get better control of the trigger when operating the firearm. The trigger utilizes 1022 components and has a great trigger pull with little travel time and a good reset. The overall length of the Ruger PC Carbine is approximately 35.5 inches to 38 inches with the length of pull coming in at approximately 10.5 inches to 13 and 3 quarter inches. And the weight of the Ruger PC Carbine is 7.3 pounds. Now that I have covered the specifications of the Ruger PC Carbine, let's get straight into some shooting and some reloading. So obviously, like I previously stated, this gun does take the Glock mag well adapter, and I am using the Glock mags. So I just like using my little Uplula 9mm mag loader. It just speeds up the process of reloading. Very, very simple. Drop in your, your uh, cartridges there and slide them on in. I've only put three cartridges in this firearm for the demonstration, but once you have your full magazine, you will simply have the safety turned on. The action must be open for the safety to enable. Lock in your magazine. You'll hear it click and you'll see the mag release drop in. From there, you can lift up your firearm, point it in a safe direction, pull back the charging handle and let it go forward. And then from there, you are ready to shoot. And then to release the magazine, simply press the mag release on the left side, pull out the magazine and you are good to go. Safety back on. Action auto locks open. Last round hold open. If you have your action closed and you are looking to lock it back, there is a bolt lock underneath. You press this button. As you pull it back, press that button in, it will lock your action open. Alrighty folks, just set up the target there. 
Got a torso target there at about 10, 15 yards. Again, we are running pistol caliber rifles, so you don't need to go that far. Safety in regards to using steel gongs, I would say uh, they recommend about 50 yards. Uh, I have shot them at less with no issues, but uh, for the most part, you know, about this distance here on paper is pretty easily uh, safe. So we're just gonna pop a few rounds down there and see how the gun shoots. So I'm gonna start off by doing just a little slow shooting session and then we'll jump in to show how it cycles through faster shooting. Last round hold open. Mag locks in. Big thing, if you do not have your chamber open, the mag will not click into place. You have to have the chamber open. Hence why the last round hold open is really nice on this. Uh, if you don't, the magazine won't lock in. After you chamber your round, basically the mag will fall out. So there's that, but again, we're gonna go in, do another round here. So overall, it's a great shooting firearm. I'm really enjoying it. Very, very, very little amount of errors with this gun. I have maybe had a couple jams, uh, and to be completely frank with you, I have not been cleaning this gun as much as I probably should be, but uh, I guess it's a testament to its uh, reliability. So far, I've probably put close to over a thousand rounds through this gun, and it shoots like phenomenally. I, I'm a very big fan of this gun. So now we're just going to do another round. This time we're gonna do it a lot faster, fast cycling magazine. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna dump her. Let's go. No issues, not surprised. This gun is awesome. And basically in this video right now, I'm just gonna give my overall honest opinion at the end. I think this is a fantastic gun, especially for Canadians uh, as a compliant firearm with, uh, with the regulations, non-restricted firearm. You can get out there, have fun. Ammo's cheap, it's cheaper than you're looking at, uh, you know, your five, five, six rounds. Um, it's just an overall fantastic gun. You're still getting some recoil. It's not a 22. You got enough power behind that to use it, uh, you know, effectively for what you're planning on doing with it. Um, overall, just, you know, can't say enough good things about this gun. It was one of my first purchases when it comes to uh, tactical uh, rifles. And, you know, I have no regrets whatsoever in buying this gun. It's honestly really, really nice. Alrighty, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that like button if you really enjoyed this video. And consider dropping some comments down below. Connect with me. I will be happy to answer any questions that you all have. So have a good one, folks. And take care.